Hi guys, a while back I was talking about major butthurt issues related to a seat like this on a bicycle. I've got some professional bicycle riders and they are saying that it's necessary to assure maximum transfer of power to the pedals, especially if you have a leaning forward position like I have here with uh, handlebars quite low. And they're saying the, the typical seat, which is wider, is more suitable for one of those city bikes where you're sitting in an upright position with a handlebars much higher. Nevertheless, with a seat like this, after 15, 20 kilometers, I'm having major butthurt issues. They're saying you need to get used to that, but I don't ride my bicycle that much as they do. So I got myself something from China. A seat with these two pads, which you can adjust the width, which supposedly support nicely under your buttocks and prevent the pain. So we'll get this disassembled, take the bike for a spin and see how this actually performs. So to start off, we just need to disassemble our original seat. Okay. So we'll need to unscrew this here to get these bars loosened up and we'll be able to fit these here, which have the exact same spacing. But I already see one problem. See all this dirt and mud? With a seat like this, it's landing on the seat, having a big gap in between. You know what? That's landing. So I guess we'll also need to invest in a small mud guard to prevent all that mud coming from the tire and landing on my pants. Okay. It would be nice to get this cleaned up, but for testing purposes, we won't be wasting time. We'll just assemble the new seat. And the question is which way is front, which way is back. The light goes this way, so it's, it's like this. And we also need to take note to on this correctly. There's a right and left side marked. So we just need to put in the right direction. left now the question is what angle we should choose here but considering the handlebar is quite low maybe for start let's try the maximum lean forward position Okay, as for the width, which we'll set this up at, taking into account my, let's say, built, let's assume also the maximum width for now, fly screws here, you can do an easy adjustment in the field.
question about height, but I think that the original height I had with the other seat should be okay. So let's get this fixed. Okay, and let's go take this out for a spin. Ooh. Okay guys, it's good, but it's not perfect, by the way. Guess what music I'm listening to. One was that Polish like Janerka, so you won't know that, but the other one was by Queen, so you can probably guess what I'm listening to. But for the full review, let's go back home. Okay, so as mentioned, a seat's great, although not ideal. Well, the, this part ideally supports the buttocks because the handlebars are quite low, it should be leaning forward a bit more because this part it's uh, it's chafing on the legs, so I'll need to think if it's possible to adjust this a bit more. Nevertheless, it performs quite better than a seat like this. With a seat like this, I had problems with, uh, what do you call it? What does the dog have? Uh, a tailbone. So it presses on the back and it's also pressing on the front. Far from ideal. So we'll see how this performs on some larger distances. I only took a ride for half an hour, but does feel much better than my regular seat, so hopefully it'll perform great. By the way, let's take a look at the seats of some other bikes here. It looks like most people choose gel technology, although you know which seat is the best. Yes, this classical leather seat, classic English Brooks. My friend, a professional bike rider, recommended a Brooks seat, but when I looked at the pricing, really, really expensive. You could buy a used one, although with other leather seats, they tend to adjust to the shape of your buttocks, so buying a used one is really a gamble. So if you're gonna invest in a professional Brooks seat, buy a new one. So that's it for today, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and see you again soon.